Girls Inc. Limestone provides life skills education and mentoring programs for girls, women, and gender expansive people. Through comprehensive program opportunities and support services, Girls Inc. inspires all participants to be strong, smart, and bold. Joining me today is Justine Marchand, Chief Program Officer, and Serenity, a Girls Inc. participant. Glad that you're here and glad we can get the word out about Girls Inc. because I feel like Girls Inc. is this secret, it's this awesome program, and not that many people know about it. Mm -hmm. So Justine, tell us about Girls Inc. So Girls Inc. is a nonprofit agency providing comprehensive programs to more than 1,500 girls, women, and gender expansive people each year uh, in both the Kingston area and the Belleville area. Um, we provide um, free programs and services that support our participants in overcoming and avoiding adversity. Uh, we have employment programs that help our participants to access education and prepare for um, financial self-sufficiency. We have crisis support programs for women and families who need emergency funds. Right. And we deliver um, research-based programs for school-aged participants. Um, which includes topics like media literacy, economic literacy, healthy sexuality, self-defense, and many more. Um, and those are delivered in classrooms during the school year, after school programs, and day camps when schools are out. Um, all with a focus on supporting all of our participants in being, you mentioned, strong, smart, and bold. And just to kind of elaborate on that a little, we can yeah. also call that healthy, educated, and independent. That is an awesome mission statement. Yeah. I love it. I have teenage girls. I repeat that mission statement all the time because I think what like that's what we want yes. for our girls. Absolutely. I didn't realize 1,500 girls and women, yep. and then school age, but yep. also young adults, right? One of our employment programs goes to age 30, and then another one, because it's a different source of funding, actually doesn't have an age limitation, and neither do our crisis support services. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're reaching a really broad range of girls and women. Yes, we're doing our best. <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> so Serenity, tell me about some of the programs you've been involved in. The programs I've been through Girls Inc. is Teen Advocacy Council. I do fundraisers for issues my team believes needs to have attention. Yeah. The so give us an example. What would be one of the issues? One of the issues we did recently was a bake sale for period poverty. Oh, what a great cause. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you've been on the Teen Advocacy Council for how long? I've been for one year. One year. And were you in Girls Inc. programs prior to that? Um, no, this is my first time being in Girls Inc. And how do you like it? I like it a lot. What, uh, what's the best part about it? Um, I think like interacting with the community and bringing issues up is like my favorite. Yeah. And there's some pretty cool kids on the Teen Advocacy Council. I met with them the other day. It seems yeah. like a yeah. great group of, of young women. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so summer camps. We need to talk about summer camps because yeah. you guys have a huge list of summer camps. Tell we us do. all about it. Okay. Summer day camps uh, will run throughout July and August. Um, I mentioned that our programs take place in both the Kingston area and the Belleville area. So right. we're going to have six weeks of camp in the Kingston area. Um, and we'll have four weeks of camp in the Belleville area. That includes one camp in Picton, one camp in Trenton, two in Belleville. Um, so trying to cover a lot of area there. And these are all free? Oh, all of our programs are free for everyone. We seek to serve um, participants who maybe experience um, economic disadvantages, but we also know that the gender-based issues that women, girls, and gender expansive people face touch everyone at every economic level. And so all of our programs are free for everyone. So if a girl wanted to be in the summer camp, there's no requirements of any sort. She can just be in part of the summer uh, camp. Absolutely. So it's grades four to eight. Um, and then we encourage our grades seven and eights to join the junior leader program, which is at the summer camp, but they'll do some special leadership programming. Um, in addition to that, and uh, yeah, we have spaces in all communities still, um, and the registration form is on our website. So what would go on at a typical day at camp? This summer, um, we actually received some special funding from the MLSE um, to deliver our self-defense program during the summer. So every participant who comes through our camps this year 
Um, we'll do a bit of SMART, so some STEM programming, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, so we always um, incorporate some kind of STEM activity. So maybe it's engineering and building things or designing, um, things like that. Strong will be our self-defense program this year. So they'll learn blocks, hits, and kicks. Um, in addition to having small group discussions with their facilitators about things like healthy relationships um, and, different, and different dynamics like that, um, how, to, how to identify um, the kinds of relationships that we want to be in and maybe what we don't want to be in, right. how to set up boundaries, things like that. And then our bold is kind of where we um, incorporate programs that foster like independence and resilience, um, or it might be economic literacy for a week, right. um, all those kinds of things. Fantastic. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to sign up for one of the summer camps, yeah. what would they do? The form is on the website. It's all there for you. So there's a big information package and a um, sign up sheet at the end. And the email is there. So you just sign up, send it in via email and we'll call you up and you'll be you'll be in the camp. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in, both of you. Thank you. Thank you.